Here's a quick video on setting up your Maya scene for rendering an animation sequence. You go and click on the render settings button. Okay. On the common tab, the first thing you want to change is the name. So you change it for instance, say title sequence. Then you might want to change the format of the image. If you're going with EXR, that's good. JPEG is good too. It depends what is the bit depth that you want. If you want them to be compressed, you can go with JPEG and PNG. Otherwise, you can go with the EXR to be safe. EXR is best, and uh, especially if you're working with AOVs or render passes, because it's gonna allow you for um, higher level of editing later on in post. If you're rendering a still image, you don't need to worry about this section, but I'll go back to it for animation sequence. Then you go into this section here. It's very, very important to change from the perspective into an existing camera that you may have in your scene. So if you're not rendering from perspective and you shouldn't, just make sure you're choosing exactly the camera that you have. In the meantime, you may have multiple cameras. So here is the camera and here's another camera. Here's another camera. So let's say you go here and say camera one. Additionally, if you want, you can go and add another camera. Here's camera two. And then camera three. So this way you can render three different cameras at the same time. Next, you're going to change the preset into the resolution that you want. So if you want full HD, or if you want to have half HD, and this is the resolution. So normally, this is what you need. Now let's go back into this section here. If you want to render stills, this would work out just fine. And if you batch render, then you get three cameras for the same frame, which is based on the frame where you are at. But if you're rendering a sequence, the first thing you need to change is this thing, because right now it says name dot extension, single frame. But if you go name underscore number dot extension, this means, you see that number? That means there is a number of frames that is going to be rendered. And now this section here is no longer grayed out. And if your sequence is from frame 1 to frame 50, then this way you should be all set.